Tesla is preparing for larger builds toward the end of this year, followed by its first online production units early next year. Things are progressing quite well, ramping up into the second quarter with real volume expected in the latter half of the year. The long-awaited Tesla Model 2 is finally ready for its big November launch event. Unlike the secretive prototype seen before, at least six affordable Tesla vehicles have recently been spotted driving openly without any camouflage near Giga Texas. These uncovered test cars have sparked a flood of online reactions, with many never-before-seen images showing their design. Some fans say the car looks too plain compared to the current Tesla lineup, especially the Model Y, while others feel its simplicity makes it clean, elegant, and futuristic. Tesla has confirmed that this will be the final production version, designed to keep the price at only $15,990. However, similar to the Cyber Cab event earlier this year, it's possible Tesla might only reveal the final design in November while pushing actual pre-orders and deliveries into early next year. This matches Elon Musk's earlier confirmation during the third quarter 2025 earnings call, where he stated that Tesla is now focusing most of its resources on scaling production for the Tesla bot project. So the big questions are, how simple is the Tesla Model 2's design really? And why might delaying its sales launch actually be beneficial for users? Recently, multiple prototypes of Tesla's low-cost car have been seen completely uncovered across several states, including Texas and California. At least six test vehicles have been observed, all sharing a consistent design philosophy, clean, sleek, and minimalistic. Though simpler than the standard Model Y, this new car clearly reflects Tesla's evolving strategy to make electric mobility truly mainstream. The front styling appears inspired by the Model 3 sedan, with a slightly reshaped hood that seems to carry a black finish. The car overall maintains Tesla's signature aerodynamic silhouette, but with fewer complex design cuts to save cost and ease production. When viewed from the front, it's clear that Tesla has removed the horizontal LED light bar that gives the Model Y its sporty appearance. Instead, the headlights now include integrated turn signals, combining the lighting elements into one clean unit. The air intake and bumper line are flatter, giving a neat, refined look rather than an aggressive one. A new small front camera positioned near the grille signals Tesla's growing focus on full self-driving integration. From the side, it's hard to say whether the hood is shorter or steeper, but the overall front-end design represents Tesla's cost-effective minimalism at its best. At the rear, other changes become noticeable. The prototype carries a Florida manufacturer plate, a typical mark of Tesla's internal test vehicles. Gone is the continuous tail light bar stretching across the rear, it's been replaced by a more compact brake light setup. The trunk lid, spoiler, and bumper have been subtly reshaped to create a more balanced yet budget-friendly appearance. Looking at the top of the car, Tesla seems to have dropped the signature panoramic glass roof found in the Model Y, opting for a solid metal roof instead. It's a smart cost-saving choice because glass roofs are expensive to make and can lead to higher assembly losses if defects occur during production. These exterior simplifications show Tesla's renewed strategic approach. After changes to electric vehicle tax credit rules in the United States, Tesla has streamlined its operations to protect profits while keeping sales strong. By developing a smaller, cheaper crossover on the Model Y platform, Tesla can continue growing, satisfying investors, and expanding its real-world data collection essential for its full self-driving and robo-taxi programs now testing in California and Austin. To achieve this affordable price tag, Tesla has likely taken multiple cost-cutting steps. The car may feature a smaller battery pack with a slightly reduced driving range from about 310 miles down to roughly 280 miles. The cabin materials could shift toward eco-friendly composites instead of premium trims. The motor might be tuned for lower power, switching from all-wheel to rear-wheel drive. Shortening the vehicle's overall length would also help reduce weight and materials, something Tesla has done before, like with the long wheelbase version of the Model Y in China. These practical changes, combined with simpler body details and no glass roof, allow Tesla to bring a truly mass-market electric car within reach of average buyers. This is not just another Tesla for the elite. This is a car meant to welcome millions of new EV owners into Tesla's ecosystem.
It also plays a vital role in advancing Tesla's self-driving development, creating an affordable entry point for global customers. If Tesla officially announces this soon, it would not be surprising at all, it would be a natural move toward fulfilling its mission of making electric mobility universal. Hey there! Before we dive deeper, if you enjoy exploring Tesla's future and the amazing world of innovation, make sure to subscribe to Amp Drive right now. Your support keeps us going and helps bring more exciting updates your way. The Model 2 was once thought to be more myth than reality, but that is no longer the case. The production line is finally ready, and soon anyone in America will be able to order one, not just early adopters or tech enthusiasts. So, how will Tesla make the Model 2 so efficient and affordable? The secret lies in Tesla's design for manufacturing philosophy, explained by Lars Morave, the company's vice president of vehicle engineering. Tesla has redesigned every part of the car to be simpler and faster to produce, right down to the millimeter. Using the unboxed vehicle architecture, mega castings for the rear frame, a structural battery pack, a 48-volt electrical system, and simplified wiring, the Model 2 is designed to be built in minutes instead of weeks. That sounds unbelievable, but it's exactly where Tesla's new production lines are heading. This could enable Tesla to manufacture millions of Model 2 units every year for the American market. Earlier this year, Elon Musk said that the affordable Tesla will arrive in the second half of 2025 and will feature revolutionary manufacturing technology. The unboxed process will require careful tuning and testing since it is totally different from standard production methods. It will also rely heavily on automation and robotics, reducing human labor and increasing precision. However, balancing these systems at first will be challenging. Because of those challenges, Tesla has adjusted its strategy, deciding to use existing production facilities to start building the Model 2 faster and at lower cost. Essentially, Tesla is combining old and new methods, producing this vehicle alongside the Model 3 and Model Y, while integrating certain innovations from the unboxed approach. Some experts worry that this approach might remove certain premium features, like automatic gear systems, sun sensors, or even small conveniences such as rain-sensing wipers or cross-traffic alerts. But Tesla reassures fans that it's a hybrid of old and new, not a full downgrade. It will still include core innovations from the next-generation platform. The Model 2, priced around $15,990, may also include further optimizations that drop the price even more once production stabilizes. Tesla's new line will make assembly even cheaper than expected, meaning the actual price could dip below the current figure. The company aims to gradually expand production capacity, targeting between 300,000 and 500,000 units annually by early 2026. Before that, Tesla plans to produce a smaller batch of 10,000 to 20,000 vehicles in late 2025 to test and refine its systems. Now, the question remains, is the Tesla Model 2 truly worth it? The car's expected design will share about 70% of its styling with the Model Y and Model 3, while the rest will feature unique touches such as revised lights, mirrors, and wheels. It will also use a brand new traction motor that costs only around $1,000 to produce, a huge cost reduction compared to the Model Y's motor, which costs two or three times more. This new motor uses 75% less silicon carbide and no rare earth materials, making it cheaper and more sustainable. Tesla has optimized this motor through in-house simulations that balance cost, performance, and noise levels, proving its mastery in efficient engineering. Tesla has also focused on lowering other manufacturing costs like tires and wheels. Smaller 17 to 18 inch wheels will be cheaper, lighter, and more energy efficient than larger ones. While they may sacrifice a bit of comfort, the cost savings and range improvement make them worth it for budget conscious buyers. Similarly, smaller 12 inch displays, simpler mechanical systems, and fewer luxury features can help cut several hundred dollars per car. When multiplied across hundreds of thousands of vehicles, these savings make a huge difference. The company might also stick to more traditional steering and braking linkages instead of advanced drive-by-wire systems to simplify tooling and reduce complexity. Over time, as autonomous driving technology matures, 
the Model 2 could even become one of the last Teslas to include a steering wheel, but that will depend on future laws and readiness. Battery production has often slowed Tesla's previous models, especially large ones like the Cybertruck and Semi, which require thousands of 4,680 cells. The Semi alone uses around 10,000 cells for about 900 kilowatt hours of capacity, while the Cybertruck uses about 1,300 cells for a 123 kilowatt hour pack. The smaller Model 2 will need far fewer cells, but Tesla still faces challenges in balancing cost and performance. The 4680 cell, once considered the heart of Tesla's battery future, might not be used in the Model 2 because it's not economical for an entry-level vehicle. Instead, Tesla may rely on the LFP chemistry, which is cheaper and more stable. This will allow Tesla to build the Model 2 without facing the same delays seen with its bigger vehicles. Tesla's modular battery production in Nevada ensures it can avoid bottlenecks this time. Still, battery costs are just one factor. The true challenge lies in competition. The affordable EV market, especially in Asia, is already crowded with brands like BYD, Xpeng, and NIO offering electric cars for around $10,000. This puts heavy pressure on Tesla, especially since EV demand has recently slowed and trade tensions with China continue to grow. However, Asia remains full of opportunities. Countries like Thailand are inviting Tesla to build new factories, and India has restarted talks with Tesla about local partnerships. This could give Tesla access to massive, growing markets while diversifying production away from China. Even though Tesla's Model 2 might not be the cheapest EV ever, Tesla's reputation and influence still carry unmatched weight. Every new Tesla release instantly attracts public attention and pre-orders, just like the Cybertruck did, despite its delays. The Model Y still dominates global sales years after launch. That kind of brand power ensures that when Tesla launches a car at $15,990, or even $25,000 to $30,000, the world will pay attention. The Model 2 could become Tesla's turning point, reviving slower sales and reassuring investors that the company's innovation engine is far from slowing down. Of course, Elon Musk's timelines are often ambitious, so delays are possible, and the final price might not be as low as promised right away. But even at $30,000, it would undercut most rivals and make electric cars more accessible than ever. So, if the Tesla Model 2 really launches with a starting price around $30,000, would you buy it? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.